In this video, we are going to learn how to power on or off DigitalOcean droplets weekly. So the idea here is that you are using DigitalOcean as your cloud hosting platform and you have created some droplets. Now, whenever the maintenance activity is scheduled, you need to power off the DigitalOcean droplet manually. So instead of doing it manually, we are going to set up an automation using Pabli Connect. So here your trigger application would be scheduler of Pabli Connect and your action application would be DigitalOcean by which every week at a specific time and at a specific day automatically your droplets are going to power off or your, uh, your droplets are going to be powered on. So how you can set up this automation for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we need to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we need to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as power on or off digital ocean droplets weekly. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to power off or power on our digital ocean or droplets every week. So first we are going to apply the trigger application as scheduler over here. So just choose the application name as schedule by Pabli. Now it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. So I want this workflow to run every week. So I'll be selecting days of the week. And here I'll be specifying a specific day that is Monday, Tuesday. You can select the day as per your requirement. I'm just making the day as Monday. And here I'll be giving the time as 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay. So this particular workflow is going to run every Monday at 10 a.m. in the morning. Let's click on save. Successfully scheduled. Okay. And here in the response also we can see that this particular workflow is going to run on Monday at 10 a.m. Okay. Now we want to power off or power on our uh, digital ocean droplets. For that, come to this action step and here choose the application name as digital ocean. Select the action event as power droplet on or off. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with digital ocean. Now here it is asking for the authorization. So I'm just going to Choose my account and let's click on authorize application to create a connection. Authorization successful. Okay, now the DigitalOcean account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the droplet name that needs to be switched off or switched on. Okay, so I'll just take you to my DigitalOcean account once. And here you can see I have three droplets over here. That is Magnet Papcon, Pabli Test and ConPab first. So I want Pabli Test droplet to be switched off, power off. So here I'll be selecting that particular droplet name that is Pabli test and now it's asking for the action. What do you want to do with this particular droplet? Whether you want to power on, you want to power it off or you want to shut down. So for the maintenance reasons, if you want to power it off, you can just select it as power off. You want to shut it down for some time, you can just select the option as to shut down or when, once the maintenance is completed, if you want to power it off, you can just create another workflow also. So at this particular moment, I want to power it off. Okay, and now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means our droplet is power off. Let's check it. Here you can see that it is power on right now. And after refreshing, it will be power off. And now here you can see that the droplet is powered off. So in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect. And let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, so we have power off the droplet. But if you want to power on the droplet at a specific day and at a specific time, you just need to create another workflow. Okay, just uh, select the scheduler. You just need to change the date and time 
give the specific date and time at which you want to power on the droplet and here you have to just change the action from power off to power on okay now i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have applied a scheduler over here that this particular workflow should run at a specific day and at a specific time and then we have powered off the droplet of our digital ocean account and in this way we have set up the automation using pably connect thank you everyone so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using pably connect in case of any queries you can visit our pably forum to check the pricing details of pably connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pably connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone